Good day everyone, this is Jason Santos and for today we will be discussing solving exponential equations, number one, laws of exponents. So let's start. So we are in the sixth week of uh, the most essential learning competencies. And here we have to solve exponential equations and inequalities. So for today, we will be discussing the different rules of exponents or laws of exponents. Now, there are actually plenty. And uh, today, we will be covering different rules such as the multiplication rule, the division rule, power of a power rule, power of a product rule, power of a fraction rule, zero exponent, negative exponent, and fractional exponent. Exponents uh, are also known as powers. These are values that show how many times to multiply a base number by itself. And we have covered this in our past discussions. For example, 4 raised to the power of 3 is telling you to multiply 4 by itself 3 times. So 4 raised to the power of 3 is equals to 4 times 4 times 4, which is 64. The number being raised by a power is known as the base, while the superscript number above it is the exponent or the power. For exponents, there are seven exponent rules or laws of exponents, which I have shown you earlier, which uh, we need to understand and learn. Each rule shows how to solve different types of math equations and how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide exponents. So today we will discuss this in detail and see all of them one by one. So the first one is what we call as product of powers rule. So when we multiply two bases of the same value, we keep the base the same and then add the exponents together to get the solution. So for example, 4 raised to the power of 2 times 4 raised to the power of 5 is equals to question mark. Now since the base values are both 4, we keep the same and then add the exponents 2 plus 5 together. So 4 is retained or the base 4 and then we add exponents 2 and 5 thus we end up with 4 raised to the power of 7 then we multiply 4 by itself 7 times to get the answer so 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 which gives us the answer of 16384 and that is the first rule for exponents. Our second rule is the quotient of powers rule. So multiplication and division are opposites of each other. Much the same, the quotient rule acts as the opposite of the product rule. When dividing two bases of the same value, we keep the base the same and then subtract the exponent values. So here, 5 raised to the power of 5 divided by 5 raised to the power of 3. Both bases in this equation, uh, equation are 5, which means they would stay the same. Then take the exponents and subtract the divisor from the dividend. Okay, So again, we will subtract the divisor from the dividend. So... 5 raised to the power of 5 divided by 5 raised to the power of 3 is going to end up with 5 raised to the power of 2 because again, we have subtracted uh, the divisor and dividend exponents. And then finally, we simplify the equation by um, multiplying 5 by itself twice. So 5 times 5 is equals to 25. Our third rule is the power of a power rule. This rule shows how to solve equations where a power is being raised by another power. So for example, 
x raised to the power of 3 multiplied by 3 is equals to question mark. In equations like the one above, we multiply the exponents together and keep the base the same. So what we do is, we multiply exponents 3, parentheses, and then the second one which is outside the parentheses. So we end up with x multiply uh, x raised to the power of 9. Fourth is the power of a product rule. When any base is being multiplied by exponents, we distribute the exponent to each part of the base. So here we have an example, x, y raised to the power of 3 is equal to question mark. In this equation, the power of 3 needs to be distributed to both bases, so base x and y variables. So we have um, open parenthesis x, y, close parenthesis raised to the power of 3 is going to end up as x raised to the power of 3 times y raised to the power of 3. These rules apply if there are exponents attached to the base as well. So let's say x and y inside the parentheses have uh, exponents and there are they are 2. What we do is we multiply them as well. So 2 times 3 is 6, so x raised to the power of 6 and y raised to the power of 6. So that's what we call the power of a product rule. Number five, we have the power of a quotient rule. A quotient simply means that you're dividing two quantities in this rule. You're raising a quotient by a power. Like the power of a product rule, the exponent needs to be distributed to all values within the bracket it is attached to. So here for our example, we have um, open parenthesis x over y, close parenthesis, raised to the power of four. And then question mark. Here, we raise both variables within the brackets by the power of 4. So it's going to be like uh, this image at the bottom. So x uh, raised to the power of 4 over y raised to the power of 4. So this is what we call the power of a quotient rule. 6, we have zero power rule. And this is a, a critical rule that we need to remember. Because anytime we see a 0, then we equate it to 1. Okay, Any base raised to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So there's no question about it. Anytime you would see a 0, automatically the answer is going to be 1. And then 7th, we have the negative exponent rule. So we need to take note of this rule because this is also very important. When there is a number being raised by a negative exponent, you have to flip it into a reciprocal to turn the exponent into a positive. Don't use the negative exponent to turn the base into a negative. So for example here, we have x raised to the power of negative 2 equals question mark. To make a number into a reciprocal, we turn the number into a fraction, put it over 1. So 1 over x. And then flip the numerator into the denominator. So we um, the x goes into the denominator. And then the negative exponent, okay, uh, when it is uh, when it switch places in the fraction, it becomes a positive number. So just like the illustration below, one over x raised to the power of two. So uh, the the exponent here becomes positive because of the negative exponent rule. Okay, so we just have to keep that in mind. Again, we don't. Um, use the negative exponent right away to um, multiply the base but rather we have to flip it first and make it into a reciprocal so that the, the negative exponent becomes a positive okay so that's about it i'm going to give you this activity 
which you would have to answer in your Google Classroom. So here on our first column, we have examples. And on our second column, we have the different exponent rules or the exponential rules. And what you would have to do is match it. Okay. Let's say A is 1, is B number 5, is C number 3, so on and so forth. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I hope you learned something from, from this video and I will see you on the next one.